experience, I have to tell somebody. Amen. The kingdom, amen. Yes. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, amen. We know. I want to take us back, all the way back. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen again. Amen. Let the church say amen one more time. Amen. One for the Father, one for the Son, and one for the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Once again, it is always a blessing to be in the house of the Lord just one more time. Amen. That means God saw fit that there was still work to be done. Yes, Lord. I'm just grateful that he allowed me to be one of his servants on Amen. this day. Amen. Amen. With all this pandemic still going around, and we still in this trying time, God is still good. God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. No matter what we go through, no matter what, how deep and how hard the situations may be, we know that God has got our back, God has covered us, and God will pull us through this storm that we're going through. Amen. Amen. At this time, I would ask if you're able to turn with me to the book of 1 Corinthians. The book of 1 Corinthians, the first chapter. First chapter, verses 4 through 8. First Corinthians chapter 1, verses 4 through 8. Amen. And we will do alternate reading. I'll start with one, and then we will join together in concert. I mean, not at verse 1, at verse 4. And then we will join together in concert on verse number 8. Amen. 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 First Corinthians chapter 1, verse, starting with verse 4. And it states, I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ. That you be that ye are enriched by him in all utterance and in all knowledge. Even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you. So that ye come be behind him yes. in no gift. Oh, writing, writing of all the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. All together. Who shall yes. also confirm you until the end, that ye may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of his holy word. Amen. I like to title this message. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And for those who might have a little difficulty understanding the New King James Version, as I always do, I read it from the NIV, which is in today's modern English. And it states, verse 4. I always thank God for you because of his grace given you in Christ Jesus. For in him you have been enriched in every way, in all your speaking and in all your knowledge. Because our testimony about Christ was confirmed in you, therefore you do not lack any spiritual gifts as you eagerly wait for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. He will keep you strong to the end to the end, so that you will be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We should all be thankful. Not thankful for the things that we have and the clothes that we can buy and the house that we can afford to pay for. But we should be thankful for just God being God all by himself. Amen. Being thankful to Jesus for who he is and what he's capable of doing. Yes, yes. So many times we get caught up in being thankful for our own good, uh -huh. for our own riches, uh -huh. but never giving God the thanks and the glory because without him we wouldn't be able to afford these many different things. Uh -huh. yeah. We get caught up in this, this earthly world here 
-hmm. where we think it's all about us. Mm -hmm. We want credit for things that we should be doing. Mm -hmm. We want people to acknowledge what we do, yeah. especially if it's in a good way. We don't want anybody to acknowledge the bad things that we may encounter or do. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But if we would give God the praise that he is due, give him the thanks that he is due, yeah. no matter whether we go through something good, something bad, whether we cut corners or not cut corners, he's going to be faithful and just to forgive us yeah. and give us another chance. Yeah, thank you. So we should be thankful yeah. to Jesus for just being God all by himself. Yeah. We walk through this everyday life. Uh -huh. We wake up in the morning. Yeah. We, we go clean ourselves up, we put on our clothes, and we step out the door. Yeah, yeah. The first thing we ought to do when we wake up, uh -huh. before we brush our teeth, before we go to the bathroom, and say, thank you, Jesus, yeah. for allowing me another day. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Jesus, should be coming out of our mouth on a regular basis. Yeah, yeah. Not just when we wake up, but just through the course of the day. Yeah. Because when we step out the doors of our home, we don't know what we in store for. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't even know if we're going to make it back home. Yeah. So just to thank Jesus all the way where we're going. Yeah. Thank you for getting us there safe. Yeah. Thank you for carrying us through the day. Thank, thank you for allowing me another day. Thank, thank you for bringing me home to my family. Yeah. Thank you for allowing me to make it from point A to point B and back to point A. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We should be thanking him on a continuous basis. Romans 1 and 8 says, First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you yes. because your faith is being reported all over the world. Yes. This was Paul speaking to the Romans. Uh -huh. He said, First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you because your faith is being reported all over the world. Okay. See, people can see our faith. Yes. They can see how strong, how weak uh -huh. our faith will be in Christ. Yes. And more importantly, other believers more so can see uh -huh. whether we have strong faith in Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. And I know we all have them in the different churches, the little cliques, the little groups yes. where they talk amongst themselves. Uh -huh. And when they see that your faith is weak, they are, girl, his faith is I don't know about him. He's he doing something he shouldn't be doing. Uh -huh. And you got the fellow be like, that brother's, that brother's faith is weak. He ain't gonna last. Yeah. Yeah. They give him something to talk about. Uh -huh. But it's when we turn, turn that around, when we know something may not be right, we know we're lacking in some air yeah. spiritual area. Yeah. We go to God and God strengthens. Yeah. God yeah. gives us what we need to better ourselves, yeah. to better, better ourselves spiritually. Yeah. And we should be telling him, thank you, God. Thank you for helping me out. Thank you for showing me the way. Thank you for pulling me back yeah. from that crooked road I was on right. and sending me on a straight narrow path. Yeah. Thank you. Amen. Yeah. Two powerful words. Thank you. Yeah. And when you add that third word on there, Jesus. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Jesus. You already grabbed on to say thank you. Jesus. But then you say thank you, Jesus. My mama. You know how much stronger, how much better, how much greater that is? Yeah. By adding that word Jesus. Yeah. Or adding that thank you. All right. Jesus. Thank if I say thank you for helping me out uh -huh. to my fellow man, yeah. he appreciates it. Uh -huh. And he says, You're welcome. Yeah. But if I say, thank you, Jesus, yeah, yeah, yeah. see how, how powerful I'm around here. Right. I can't move the world around him. I can't breathe around him. Uh-huh. Yes, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Three Preach. powerful words. Preach. Even if I don't say anything else, if I always say, thank you, Jesus, uh -huh. I'm giving him praise. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm lifting him up. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I'm magnifying him. Yes. Just saying, thank you, Jesus. I'm acknowledging who he is. Yes. That's right. Yes. So I cannot help but say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yes. In the scripture, said we have been, for in him you have been enriched in every wealth. 
This is in verse 5. Uh -huh. You have been in him, you have been enriched in every way, mm -hmm. in all your speaking and in your knowledge. Mm -hmm. We have been enriched. Yes. We've been enriched with the body of Christ. Yeah. With our knowledge. Uh -huh. The more we learn about him, yeah. the, excuse me, the more we can speak on him. All right. Amen. And when we speak on him, yeah. those ears that are open uh -huh. begin to hear. Yeah. They hear that knowledge. Yeah. And what's the first thing they say? That, that brother and that sister got some knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They must be really into God. Because yeah. we enriched. We, yeah. we, it's like we're we're embedded in that richness of Jesus Christ. Amen. But someone who is not enriched uh -huh. in Jesus Christ, it's not that they can't be. It's because they don't know him. Yeah. Yeah. They don't understand him. Uh -huh. They don't learn about him. They don't study him. Yeah. They don't read his word. If you don't read your word, how can you be enriched? Yeah. If you don't know who he is, how can you be enriched? Right, right. If you stay away from church, how can you be enriched? If you don't listen to what the pastor is saying, how can you be enriched? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta, gotta pay attention. Uh -huh. That's how we are enriched. Yeah. Yeah. And the believers, uh -huh. oh, I can tell when we enrich. Yeah. Enriched in his blood. Yeah. Yes, he said that we are highly favored because uh -huh. we are his children. Yeah, exactly. We are highly favored because we are children because we enrich in his blood. We enrich in his life. We enrich in the blood of Jesus. Uh, sure. Thank you. It says enrich to our speaking. Okay. When we go to conferences, uh -huh. or just some, it doesn't even have to be, you know, Bible related. Someone who is speaking and knows what they're speaking about, mm -hmm. you get a clear understanding. Amen. You don't need them to go back and repeat it again. Yes. But here being enriched by with our speaking yeah. is speaking on God, speaking of God, uh -huh. giving those who may not know him in the part of their sins, yeah. giving them a clear understanding of how he saved the world, how he saved them, and how they could be a better person. Right. Yeah. But that's all because of being rich. In Jesus Christ. We're rich yeah. with our talking. Yeah. We're rich yeah. with speaking. We're yeah. rich yeah. in our knowledge of who he is. Yes. Yes. I don't know about you, but I can't see myself not being in rich. Because not being in rich means I have nothing to do. Uh -huh. Being Not being in rich in the blood of Jesus uh -huh. means I don't know him in the part of my sins. Yeah. And if I don't know him in the part of my sins and I'm not in rich in him, then that makes me a nobody. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't think anybody here today wants to be a nobody. We want to be somebody. Amen. But I can't be somebody if I don't know who Jesus Christ is. Amen. I can't be somebody if I don't give my life over to Jesus. Yeah. But when I say thank you, Jesus, uh -huh. then I'm saying that I know who he is. Yeah. I'm saying that I know what he can do. Yeah. When I say thank you, Jesus, uh -huh. then I'm saying that I am his. Yeah. Oh, yes. So I want to say thank you, Jesus. Amen. Uh -huh. Yeah. Come on. For you are given spiritual gifts. Yeah. It says in verse, verse 7, it says, Therefore you do not lack mm -hmm. any spiritual gift as you eagerly wait right. for our Lord Jesus Christ okay. to be revealed. Yeah. We've been given spiritual gifts. Uh -huh. And the key is not to let those spiritual gifts go to place. Yeah, go He's given them to us. Yes, yes. When we turn our life over to Him, we receive that yes. spiritual gift. Uh -huh. When we turn our life over to Him, one of the yes. spiritual gifts is that we were able to see that illuminating bright light that can show us the pathway yes. which He wants yes. us to go. Yes. Right. That was the first part of our spiritual gift. Mm -hmm. But then He begins to bombard us with spiritual gifts. Uh -huh. The more we study Him, the more we read yeah, His yeah. Word, the more we believe in Him, yeah, so. the spiritual gifts He gives us. Amen. It can be of singing, singing yeah. unto the Lord. It can be of delivering messages. Yeah. It can be just talking to somebody on the street. Yeah, so. And every time you talk to somebody on the street, they can get a little closer to God. Yeah, right, right. That's a spiritual gift. All right, right. Everybody don't have that gift. Everybody can't just walk up to 
somebody and start talking to them and all of a sudden they start drawing near on to God. They start understanding God a little more clearly. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But that's that spiritual gift. Yeah. But so many times we let the spiritual gifts go to waste. The spiritual gifts are abilities that God gives believers in order that they may serve Him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. See that abilities that God gives for believers. He don't give that spiritual gift to just anybody. Amen. He gives it to the believer Amen. in order that they may serve Him. Amen. Just that alone, in order that they may serve Him. Give me all the spiritual gifts that I can get. Yeah. The more spiritual gifts you give me, that means I can never stop serving Him. Amen. But it's when we let those spiritual gifts and those abilities go to waste. We don't use them. We closet them. We put them up on the shelf. Lock them up in, in the closet. Yeah, yeah. And when we do that, what happens? Everything starts going wrong. Okay. People not listening to us. We can't draw. And it's not us to draw them, but God uses us to draw people onto Him. Uh -huh. But that can't happen when we put our spiritual gifts in the closet up on the top shelf where the kid can't get to. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And when you can't get to that that spiritual gift, yeah. you step in doing this. You yeah. jump. Jump to try to get it. You go, then you gotta go get a ladder. Then you don't have a ladder tall enough to get it. <laughs> but that spiritual gift is just sitting yeah. Yeah. up here on the top ship. Uh -huh. And now you can't do the job that God sent you to do. Yeah. Woo. But it's when thank you. Yeah. Jesus comes into play. Yeah. Yes. You say, Jesus, I'm sorry. Thank you for giving me the spiritual uh -huh. gift. Yeah. All of a sudden, that, that gift, that spiritual gift that's up on this top shelf that you've been jumping again, uh -huh. when you come back into that closet, guess what? It's eye level. You just stick your arm out and get the gift. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh -huh. yeah. But that shows how great God is. Uh -huh. When you do what you're supposed to do, yeah. and you do what's right, uh -huh. guess what? Anything God gives you is right there at eye Amen. Amen. And you can reach out and grab it. Yeah. You don't have to stretch up here. You don't have to get the left. You don't have to jump. You don't have to stand on nobody's shoulder to get it. Yeah. It's right there where you can grab it. Yes, it is. No. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus, will make them so much easier. Thank mm -hmm. you. The more we thank him, yeah. the easier our life becomes. Yeah. Yes, the more we thank him, uh -huh. the easier it is to walk through life. Yeah. The more we thank him, uh -huh. is the more that we lift him up. Yeah, yeah. Amen. First Peter 1 and 13 says, Therefore, prepare your mind for action. Right. Self-control. Set your hope fully on the grace to be given you when Jesus Christ is revealed. Mm -hmm. Some of us don't even know that grace is already given to us. Yeah. Grace was given us Thank you. when He died for us. Yeah. And it was given to us in an abundance. Yes, it was. It wasn't just fractured out. Uh -huh. Yeah, let me give you a little bit of grace over here. The pastor, let me give you a little bit more than the elders you had in the church. Let me give my deacons a little bit more, you know, grace than the, than the standard members in the pew. My musicians, you guys, my good. Let me give you a little bit of grace. <laughs> Yeah. That ain't how grace works. Grace has been given us in abundance for the fact that we wake up every morning. We were born in sin, shaking in the neck. Yeah. He has given us grace that has allowed us to walk the earth as many years as we have. Amen. He has given us something that we did not deserve. That's right. Amen. Unmarried. Unmarried faith. Amen. So you've received that grace in abundance when you were brought into this world. Yeah, amen. How can you not say thank you, Jesus, for that? Thank you, thank you Jesus. Lord. In verse 8, it says, He will keep you strong to the end amen. so that you will be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. We have to remain strong. Uh -huh. We have to remain strong. And I'm not talking, yeah. you know, stretch strong, bodybuilding. I ain't talking about that kind of strong. Uh -huh. But we gotta stay strong in our faith. Yeah. We gotta stay strong in our belief. Uh -huh. We gotta stay strong in what we believe in when we have to Christ. We can't let nothing weigh.
favor or our strength yeah. when it comes to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. For all that He has done for us yeah. and all that He has brought us through, yeah. we have the mindset to stay strong. Yeah. We have the ability to stay strong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not that someone can come along and be like, oh, you believe in that nonsense and then all of a sudden you have no strength. Yeah. That's when we fight. That's when we show our strength. Mm -hmm. yeah. You think it's nonsense, but I know what my Lord can do. I know what my Savior has done. Yeah, yeah. It's just the fact that you weak because you don't know what he's done. Uh -huh. You don't know what he's carried you through. Mm -hmm. right. You don't have no belief. You have no faith. Uh -huh. But I tell you what, get some faith. Okay. You start believing. Uh -huh. You will see how strong you can yeah. be. You will see that nobody can stand in your way. Yeah. There can be nobody to deter you. Uh -huh. And when you receive that, yes, yes. you gotta say thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. We must remain strong at all times. Oh, yes, There's not a day, a minute, a second, an hour goes by uh -huh. that we should be weak. Amen. If you believe in the Lord, you yes. have faith in Him, you yes. lift Him up and you magnify Him and you give Him all the praise that yes. you do, He will keep you strong. Yes, yes. Jesus Christ is my vital. He's what keeps me strong. He's what allows me to get through the day. It's not the people out there. It's 